Hey DJ Nation, it's DJ back with a video this time. Uh, it's been like two years now, besides the point. Uh, there is a couple things I wanted to talk about because uh, as of recently, two of my, you know, childhood, and, you know, not even just childhood, like favorite YouTubers now that I used to watch, are they're both kind of quitting YouTube. I mean, they're both for different reasons. But there's quitting YouTube and I kind of just wanted I felt a need to address it because I am I used to be such a big fan of them and I still am a big fan of them. I'm not saying they're bad or nothing, you know. They're amazing people, you know, it's just as I grew up I kind of just switched topics. Not really topics, but more of I'm more busy and I don't have the time to watch YouTube as much, but like I said, I'm still interested in their channels. I'm still subscribed. I still stop by now and then and see their videos, you know, <clears throat> but Brian Barczyk, I don't know if I said his last name right. I hope I did. I hope I did, y'all. Uh, he is leaving YouTube. Now, by leaving, I don't mean he's literally saying, oh, yeah, bye, YouTube. I'm not coming back no more for yada, 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 right reason. I mean more the sense that he's literally being not like forced but he is in a way forced to leave youtube because brian has cancer and he recently had a couple of strokes ended up in the hospital and now he's on hospice sorry there's, trucks. there's a garbage truck but uh yeah so he's on hos he's in hospice right now and I don't know, I just felt like the video needed to be made because of that fact that, like, you know, he's such a, he's a hero to me. You know what I'm saying? Even now. Even now, I remember when I started my channel, I started doing reptile videos. You know, you can go back and look out of my 500-something videos. There's a lot of gaming, you know, which is why, you know, I'll be, you know, map patting a little bit because I'm also, you know, a big gamer. But also, like... You know, I have my reptile videos. I had the videos of my alligator, my snakes, the lizards I had, the turtles I had, you know? And it was mainly because Brian inspired me to want to even post reptile videos in the first place. You know, as a child, my biggest, my biggest, like, inspiration was Steve Ruin. And when I heard, found out he passed away as a kid, I didn't know. I was born the year he passed away, you know? And, you know, I didn't know he passed away up until, like, a couple years, like, four years after he passed away. But when I found out, it's it was just like, man, uh, like, I, I didn't know what to really think. Like, I didn't, you know, I was a kid. I didn't know how big it was. Now that I'm older, you know, I really realized that that was, that's massive. The, like, he passed away like that. Besides the point, you know, I'm getting, I'm ranting. Uh... You know, I just, he, he was the one person I really, like, ever, from a child that, like, I never thought I could, like, say this in a one, other way, one way or another, and I'm not saying that Steve Ruin is ever going to be replaceable, but in my heart, Brian filled that void that Steve Ruin had for me. Steve Ruin was my first ever inspiration. When people used to ask me what I wanted to do, hey, I want to be a crocodile hunter, just like Steve Ruin, you know? Crocodiles are my favorite animals to this day. Crocodilians in general. But, uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. It's just crazy that he's, well, this is happening. And, you know, I would love to show support for him and his family. This year, I even went to the Reptarium for my first time, <clears throat> which... If I even feel like editing, I will put the, the photos in my video. But if I don't, then I'm sorry. I apologize. Maybe I'll use it as a thumbnail. Maybe. But, uh, yeah, you know, as a, somebody from Michigan as well, you know, I, I I always wanted to go there. That that was like heaven. That was my first time ever holding an anaconda. It was the coolest thing ever. Verde was the, is the most amazing animal. Salt and pepper, so, so cool. The baby albino alligator they had, so cool, man. And just seeing all this happening, I hope they know. I hope Brian knows. 
I hope his family knows that nonetheless, we all of our all of the reptile community, nonetheless, will help you guys, always support you guys, always be here for you guys. And it's well deserved. You guys are a household name in the reptile community and we'll always love y'all. Plain and simple. It's I mean, there's nothing more I could really, I don't know how to really say it. I, I hope I'm not sounding like an ass. That's the main thing I don't want to sound like because I'm trying to relay a really good message. You know, Brian, you know, childhood hero, amazing guy. He's the nicest guy. If, like I said, he was the one person I was able to actually build my, fill, like, fill that void in my heart without having Steve ruin, you know? So it's like, man. I can't believe see, just that we're going to see him go. But you know what? I hope he rests in peace. Uh, I can't wait. You know, maybe I'll get to meet him in heaven one day, you know? Truthfully. Maybe I will. I'm hoping I will because him and Steve Ruin would be cool. But, uh, uh yeah. Uh, before I, you know, start getting a little too emotional about this, um... I would like to at least talk about Matt Pat too. Matt Pat is another big YouTuber that, as a kid, I was big into, and you know it was just. And I, and, you know, the game theory, the Michael Myers, the, the Halloween videos, you know the. I mean, you the Five Nights at Freddy's videos, the Hello Neighbor videos, the Benny and the Ink Machine videos, like all of those, man. He fucking killed it, man. He did. You did so good, Matt Pat. And I'm proud. You know what? You and Brian. I'm trying not to cry right now because I'm walking down the street. But uh, you and Brian, I hope you both know that I'm genuinely proud of what you guys did and what you guys became and how big you guys gotten and how far your guys' videos have, like, have, like, Come, really like how far your videos have came like it's genuinely it's more than even impressive there's words can't really describe it but like where matt pat's came he was even in the final death freddy's movie dude you have a legacy i'm proud of you brother thank you for being on youtube for the time you hit you were bro thank you brian you gave us both a good time man i'm trying not to cry it's so hard it's so hard ah hmm but uh, they, uh, I just, you know, thank y'all, man. Y'all created one hell of a childhood for me, truthfully. You know, and it's crazy that in this day and age, this year, we have to watch both of y'all go like this, but just know all of us, all of your fans, all of the people that are around you will hold you guys and what you guys had, you know, made us hold dear you know not made us but well you know we held dear in our hearts was you guys your guys's channel you know you what you guys put out for us that's we genuinely appreciate it man if not we then i do bro you know what i'm saying i know some you know everybody has their haters so i can't say you know we all did but you know a lot of people all of your fans did you know and i hope you guys realize that genuinely I don't know. I, just, I I feel like I'm, I might be rambling and I kind of just repeating myself over and over again. No, no, this is an unscripted video. I don't really ever script videos. But, uh, you know, one take. I'm trying. I'm trying. I just feel like I had to post something about it because, like, in general, those two YouTubers, such a fucking giant part of my childhood, dude. A giant part of my childhood. Like, I don't even know where to begin. Is bro driving a UK mailman? Like, that, that, I've never, I've never, wow. <laughs> okay, he's driving a car made in the UK from America, in America. That's kind of crazy. But besides the point, Jamar, get on topic. Uh, yeah, uh. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of just... I really wanted to make this video, bro. I just... I had it in my mind since Brian had his video drop. And then I just seen Matt Pat's drop yesterday. Uh, both of them are very emotional and made me very emotional. <laughs> 
surprisingly, because I'm not that much of an emotional guy. I mean, I am to an extent, but for the most part, when it comes to stuff like this, I'm not very, you know, YouTubers gone. I'm like, oh, dang, that sucks. But these guys have just made, they have imprinted on me and they've made such a legacy, man. And I, I hope they know none of us will ever forget you on MatPat. I hope you end up wanting to come back one day, you know. Maybe you'll make your own channel or something. Whatever it is, I'll be happy with it, brother. I hope I at least see you on GT Live more. Uh, yeah. Um, I think this is going to be the end of my video today. Hope you guys enjoy my video without a doubt. Smash that like button. Go. So I hope you guys at least, you know, go show them some love, man. Please, any of you guys that don't know who they are for some particular reason, please go show them love, bro. They both need it. Brian's family needs it. I mean, show them, go show them some support. You know. Yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy this video. Without a doubt, smash that like button you haven't already in. Peace.